What up, y'all? You already know what time it is. Hit that like, subscribe, and post notification bell for me. Um, so I've decided to set a goal. Um, and this is pretty realistic, I believe, that I can manage, as I have before, um, I did pretty consistently, to at least generate one piece of content every day to submit for you guys. That way we can maintain that connection and relationship. You guys can stay up to date on what's going on during my process, whether it be uh, prepping for my next bodybuilding show, what's going on with Maji, um, upcoming workshops, all the good stuff, all the stuffs. Um, <clears throat> with this piece of content in particular, I'd like to take a minute to follow up on a Facebook post that I just posted a few minutes ago. What it had to do with, if you haven't had a chance to see it yet, um, was yesterday while out securing some foodstuffs with my two youngest girls, I happened upon a friend who happens to work out at the gym where I used to be a trainer, recently used to be a trainer. Um, and lately, and a lot of this, let me back up, a lot of the feelings I've had lately aren't new, but they've been intensified. The reason that they've been intensified is just kind of the post-show recovery process that I've been going through that I didn't really anticipate. So, um, but like I said, I've, I've had some of these feelings before, and I think it's natural especially on a newer path while being vulnerable and opening up and sharing so many things that most people don't really, aren't really comfortable opening up about, even if they share the exact same uh, experiences as me. Because I'm not unique that way, I'm not the only addict or drug addict out there, and I'm certainly not the only one on YouTube sharing their experience, strength, and hope. I'm just delivering it my way. Anyway, um, as I said, lately, the feelings that, and thoughts that I've had about direction and whether or not my content is landing and connecting with people and whether or not I'm just like, what am I doing? Where, where should I prioritize my energy? Right. Um, and I, I do believe that the universe has a very kind way sometimes of reminding us that indeed what we are doing is important. It's valuable. It's connecting with people and that we need to stay our course because this mind of ours still developing in the grand scheme of things is you know with with relative to the universe and all things that have been since the inception of we don't really know when um, it's still a relatively new thing right so experiencing the world that the way that we do it's new um, but anyway I needed this encounter with a friend because, as I said, I've just been reflecting a bit more about what I'm doing, <clears throat> where I'm headed, how I'm prioritizing my time and my energy. This encounter reminded me that I'm on the right track. And it's, it's, it's the kind of reminder that I needed, right? I won't go into detail about who this person is or precisely what they shared with me. Suffice it to say, it was very pleasant, it felt very good, they were very kind words, and I appreciate this person and what they shared very much. <clears throat> and it kinda, not reignited, but you know, stoked that, that flame in me, okay, like, all right, man, listen, these things that we're going through, we didn't anticipate, but now we're in them, we're like literally up to here in them. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's just keep pushing, and we're focused, man, we're doing what we're doing. Um, and everything is great, man. Like, I'm, I have an excellent life. I couldn't ask for a better life. I'm supremely blessed and fortunate in many, many ways. I have an excellent support team. And my wife is my biggest cheerleader. She supports all of my wild and crazy goals and ideas. And it's just, it's, I'm, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Um, so... I do want to talk to y'all about the difference. I've been talking about this for months now, right? And I have a version of it built out, and I'm telling you, you do not want to miss it. Y'all see the kind of results I get. I'm not playing with y'all. I do not playing with y'all. And I was, I was talking to another friend of mine last night about a different approach to fitness, more on the bodybuilding side, but the principles are still the same. The formula is basically the same. <clears throat> From an outside perspective, 
it's intimidating and it can seem really, uh, what, are, what are the words I'm looking for? It's just unfamiliar territory. Anything new is kind of scary. Stripping all that stuff away, the one takeaway and biggest similarity, and this is for everything in life, that I want y'all to, to really, that really sink home for y'all is you have a plan and your job every day is to show up. That's it. Just show up. And what I mean by show up, that's, there's more involved in that. I'll explain it. I don't feel like I have to. I shouldn't have to because I don't want a bunch of people just standing outside a gym somewhere. But here I am. <laughs> you show up, you do the work. You show up every day. That means if you don't have the foods that you need for the day and you've got a couple hours before you go to work and the grocery store is open, you take your happy ass to the grocery store, you get those sweet potatoes, you get that white rice, you get that oatmeal or tuna or whatever it is that you're prepping for the day. You take it home, you prep it, and you have it with you. That's showing up. You go to sleep a little later because you got racing thoughts and you can't quiet your mind. So you don't sleep as much. You're a bit more tired than usual when you wake up. You still get up at your usual time. You get your shit on. You go to the gym. You handle your business. That's showing up. You don't flake on your dailies based on how you feel. Neither emotionally, physically. I mean, granted, if you're sick or you're hurt, the obvious shit, right? But we show up. We show up. That's that's the deal. That's the deal. And not showing up. Sure, other people may have their opinions, but they're going to have their opinions no matter what. Whether you show up, how well you do, whether you don't show up and you fail, they're going to have some stupid ass shit to say. So whatever. The only people I'm I'm worried about disappointing or letting down is my higher power and my family. Uh, I do my best to keep my word to them because it's important. It's important to keep your word, period. Right? <laughs> Following through is important. But all those other people with just weirdo shit to say about you, come on, man. Who cares? Who cares? Eat an apple fritter and shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, the difference. Now, this is not marketing. This is not some weird ploy to get you to sign up. The name is intentional. This workshop, I'm telling you, it's nothing. And I know that my training is different because of the way that I deploy it. Because I have a human approach. We work our asses off, we don't play no games, but we're still human beings at the end of the day. So that means that we're spiritual, emotional, physical, or all those things. We're not just based on willpower. You can't just PR your way into spiritual growth. It just don't work like that. 405 on the big bar is not going to make you a spiritual gangster like your boy. Don't work that way. Anyway, I, I, I put a lot of thought into the name of this workshop and I put a lot of time and emotion and passion into this workshop, period, because I know that Something different needs to happen. People are paying money and spending time and they're getting, I mean, in all honesty, people are getting ripped off. People are getting ripped off with workshops and fitness training and all this stuff out there. You're getting ripped off. You go to, if your gym is dirty, you're getting ripped off. You're paying too much money. If you walk in and there's Cheerios on the ground, you're getting ripped off. It's too much money. If there's fucking dog hair on the ground, you're getting ripped off. You're paying too much money. Hey, somebody had to say it. You deserve an experience that is on par with the sacrifice that you're making. Because think about it, you're making a sacrifice. You, you, where you get that money from unless, you get, unless you're rich? You're trading your time and your energy that you could be doing other things that you would, most of us would prefer to be doing than spending eight to 10 hours somewhere working for some company and someone else and making them boatloads of money while we're getting a pittance in comparison. Right? We're taking those funds and we're trading them for things that we believe are going to add a net positive value to our lives. And if they're not, if, if just open your eyes and look around. Open your eyes and look around. With this workshop, you're going to get your money's worth. 
and that means you're going to have to work. We're going to be working out the duration. It's going to be longer than any workshop that you've ever had or been a part of because this ain't no wham, bam, thank you, get you out in a couple of weeks and you get a pamphlet with pictures of broccoli and chicken breast and tuna and some quinoa. No, we're going to dig in. I want people to learn. That's what I always talk about, being an intuitive athlete, and I want my athletes to pay attention. Don't just show up and let me do all the programming and all the heavy lifting. When we're talking about you know, nutrition programming, this stuff is for you. I write this for you, for you in mind, with you in mind. This is for you. Take it home with you. I want you to employ it in your life. I want to look at your Facebook and see you doing this stuff on your own time. I need y'all because you're going to miss out because I'm, I'm telling you there's going to be limited availability for this workshop. I'm not just going to have a bunch of people in there because it, it ain't about the money. It's about y'all and the message because when people train with me, there's a difference. <laughs> and I said this in the BSL's workshop and, you know, I through conversations with people and experience with them. They see, they saw quickly what I was talking about. There's a difference. You're going to walk into rooms that previously you spent, you shared space in and people are going to treat you different. There's going to be a difference in the way that you experience the world around you and how it experiences you. That's the kind of thing that I am going to deliver with this workshop. So comment on the video, reach out to me however you got to do it. Send a pigeon, a seagull, a stork, email, whatever. The link... All my, all my contact info is going to be in the description of this video. But I need y'all to reach out. Because applications are going out September. And there's only going to be limited space. I'll announce exactly how many soon enough. Right now, I've got a few people who uh, have expressed tremendous interest in the application. And I'll explain the application process to you once you reach out. I'm not going to put it on here. There's biters out there. There's biters out there and people who are trying to not be creative. <laughs> the goal is, I mean, once it's out, it's out. But by that time, it's too late. Everybody already knows what you're doing, bro. It's just, anyway, the difference. And, uh, in up and coming uh, content. We just got an announcement for our next show. Mm. Y'all thought this one was crazy. You just wait until next year. I got a full year. I got a year. <laughs> ah, they didn't mess around and gave the old man a target. Coming for that first place. Peace, y'all.